Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dabs from the Burn It Down Show, and you are listening to Living Podcariously. Oh yeah. You're listening to Living Podcariously, bringing you real men's perspectives, unfiltered, unapologetic, and uncensored. Recorded live in the Living Pod Kerosene Studio in world famous Cocoa Beach, Florida. To another episode of Living Podcariously. Living Podcariously. Hey. hey, for you, Tack, hoot hoot. Uh, Tack is not here tonight. He has kids stuff. Uh, Tack doesn't like me. Yeah, family <laughs> stuff. I don't. I don't know what's He's up with Tack. Now a transgender. Yeah. Transgender. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a uh, a phrase that Dabs K coined. We'll introduce Dabs here in just a second. But Dabs K coined the phrase during the recording of the Twisted Ten that he just hosted. Uh, for the reason Tack isn't here and somehow got us to the term transgender. Mm-hmm. So, uh, which is the fucking greatest <laughs> one line phrase I've ever heard. Uh, thank we're rolling you, with you, it. I wonder you. if that's a thing. It is. I think I heard it on like South Park or something. You know what? Let's, let's, tr- well, let's ask introduce Google. people first. We'll, we'll ask Google here in just a second, but let's, let's do the intros first. I'm Adam. I'm one of your regular hosts. So sit, Tack is in here. So we're going to go to the other now new second mic of the show. Over on the Hi. Lady Chase. Yay. Now, I'm the only ginger, and you guys can call me a ginger all you want. Ooh, all right. Yay. This is Andrea Joy. Andrea Joy, sitting over in the big recliner. What up, guys? Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson rocking it in the house. And back by popular demand, brought us a hell of a twisted 10, co-host of the Burn It Down podcast.com. <laughs> Mr. Dabs K. Hey guys, it's good. What the what Gwan? What the Gwan? Yes. I love that. I fucking love it. <laughs> what up, dude? Um, hey guys. Fucking good to have you in the studio, man. Man, it's good to be here. You know, I love Pod Life. Pod Life. Pod, pod, you say Pod Life? Pod. pod we talking pod. about the uh, Twisted Ten you just did? <laughs> 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 All right. So, what we're going to ask Google, uh, we have a fifth mic set up in studio for Josh's or Mr. Wilson's uh, Google Home attendant or whatever. What's it called? It's, just, it's a Google Home Mini. Google Home Mini device. So <laughs> Andrea Joy is in charge of the plug belt tonight, by the way. So we're going to ask that a question. What were we going to ask it? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm pretty high. I forgot. Transgender. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. All right. So here we go. Okay, Google, define transgender. My apologies. I don't understand. Man, this girl don't know nothing. She man, don't she's nothing, failed man. every search tonight. Right? Every single one. <laughs> That's why I thought she wasn't hooked up to the, the Wi-Fi there for a while, but nah, she got it. All right, so we got a fun show in store for you guys tonight. We're going to uh, get deep into Mr. Dabs K. Uh, I don't like the way that sounds. Uh, hold on. Don't worry, uh, it's worse than it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Is that swing coming back out? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's a reference to an episode we did a long time ago. We don't have a game time this week because uh, that's tax Aww. segment. So, uh, Way to attack. ruin the show, Tack. Just saying. The show's Jeez. never going to be the same. Andrea, uh. Andrea and I got to go see, uh, we plugged a little bit on the shows in the past, but Monty Python's Spamalot over at Surfside Playhouse out in Cocoa Beach. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because, my God, that was fucking hilarious. That's um, so we'll hear cool. about that. Mr. Wilson also did a Colorado trip. So we're yeah. going to hear a little recap on, on oh, some right. Colorado That's travels. That's my kind of trip right there. Yeah, it was uh-huh. cool. And, of course, tis the season we're approaching Thanksgiving, so we're going to talk a little bit about Thanksgiving in this show. Yay, turkey so, time. First things first, we want to get deep into some dabs. K. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, yes. Somebody Spread said, it open. Somebody messaged me and said that sounded sexual. Maybe I should change the name of that segment to, you know, when we have guests and we want to get deep into them. Deep, deep in, yeah, it does. Know. Deep into dabs. K. <laughs> All right. So, what is my K? I so, Dab, you are a host of the Burnt Down Show. Yes, sir. You yes, can sir. be it can be found on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Podcast Radio Network, it's and like iHeart Radio. Yeah, 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 and yeah. iHeart. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk a little bit about Burn It Down. Uh, burn It Down. You know, it's, it's in the title. We we burn it down. <laughs> we. W- also like to sit around and talk shit, make jokes, you know what I'm saying? I, it was born of, of a love to, to just sit around and, and, and be funny, you know what I'm saying? So we decided to start recording it. You know, like most podcasts, you think you're fucking, you know, superstar material, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Right. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's, it's, it's podcasting. I do find it's, it's an, it's an awesome outlet. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it it's just a way to get 
everything out there you know what i'm saying in in the world of social media with all the walls and 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 all the you know pictures everybody takes it's just it's just it's just a version that i love you know what i'm saying so it's my wall you know go 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 to burnitdownshow.com and look at my wall you know and that's a really cool analogy for a podcast i've never heard that before yeah that's a hell of a cool way to put it we like it we we like it a lot sweet so we we had it with josh and i were talking about this earlier today you and j flow or jason uh Mm. founded it basically basically created uh, burn it down from scratch, right? Was yeah, it two of you uh, that started it? We, we, yeah, he was moving into his uh, new place where he's, you know, down the street from this studio. As yeah, we're like yeah. two miles from us. Yeah, you guys are close. Yeah, and he was like, he was like, hey, man, you want to do this with me? And I was like, fuck yeah, man, let's, let's do it. So we, we, we actually started a Facebook group <laughs> with, no, we had nothing. We just started a Facebook group and said, hey, guys, we're going to do a podcast called Burn It Down. And it was more for us, you know what I'm saying, to see whether or not people would be interested in anything we had to say, you know. And before we had anything, I think we had maybe 150, 200 people Damn, nice. that, that just joined oh, yeah. the group, you know what I'm saying? So we were like, well, fuck, we have a group of 200 people in it now. It's a fucking secure audience <laughs> yeah, right there. We have to do something, though, you know, because we didn't have anything. So I guess we, we, we started, well, this is what we're doing, the progress we're making, you know, it's a little update. So, you know, it kind of forced our hand. We we started buying all the equipment we could afford, like, as quickly as possible. And then one day we just had everything, and boom, we started recording. And we bought all this equipment. We spent all this time buying all this equipment. And our very, very, very first episode, <laughs> whole episode recorded through the pinhole on the fucking monitor. <laughs> it's the worst audio on the planet. It's the, it's the worst audio. Like, we couldn't figure out what we do. We did three or four bonus episodes, or not bonus, but, like, practice episodes where they sounded amazing. We were, like, so excited. Like, yeah, we got this. We're finally, this is going to be the first real episode we're going to call this episode number one and it sounded like fucking shit (laughs) oh that sucks oh my god it sounded so bad but we have grown it's been almost two years now a year and a half almost two years though you know and and, and it's it's really fun it's uh, you know so come check us out man just we're we're everywhere we're everywhere you can look for a podcast anything you can listen to a podcast on you can find us eventually spotify as well but that's like the only one that's up in the air right now yeah, Spotify is a difficult one to get into. Yeah, it's a bear. Yeah. Without like without trying to pay somebody some money, you know what I'm yep. saying? It's really hard. But we think we found a way. Uh, we nice. think we found a way. So, you know, fingers crossed. We'll see you in the next couple of days. Hell yeah. Uh, no, dude, we love Burn It Down. Uh, so we did your guys' burger challenge a while mm-hmm. back. I was a judge for one of those. Yeah, for one of those good. Actually, you had a good time too, didn't hell you? It was yeah, a good dude. burger, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Were dope. Yeah. yeah. So I was there with uh, the day Ross McCoy also came in mm-hmm. to do the mm-hmm. original, the first series of guest judging before the finals. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. I'm a big, huge fan of Ross. So I got to sit yeah, there. Yeah, Ross with, is a good dude too. Yeah, man. Yeah. I yeah. got to sit there and hang out with somebody that I kind of <laughs> idolize in the Orlando community mm-hmm. for a long time. I'd never met him personally. So that was, was kind of cool. Yeah, see, you're making friendships happen at the see, Burn It Down we, studio. We, we network, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. You know, and, and Ross is a great local comedian. You know what I'm saying? I, I think he, um, he might have parted ways with, uh, with the old TND. Yeah, man. I, so I've been listening to Time of Dan a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't listen to every episode, mm-hmm. but I haven't heard him on a lot. I don't, I don't yeah, know what's I don't, up. I'm not, I'm not too sure. He's uh, still affiliated with the guys, you know what I'm saying? But we still, he's still a, a, a really good friend of ours. Yeah, he's he's, awesome, he's a friend of the show. So, you know, Ross isn't going to disappear. He's not going to, you know, he's, he's still going to be, we're doing another living room series. Uh, with the comics, you know what I'm saying? He, he should be there, I'm pretty sure. I listen to all yeah. of the living room series. Those are, you guys my, do. Those are my Dude, favorites. My fucking favorite living room series of all time. I had to have replayed that episode at least 20 times mm-hmm. just over the course of like a month mm-hmm. was when you guys had in, um, Melodic Descent? Was it? No, it wasn't Melodic Descent. Melodic Descent is, is Travis Band. Yeah, Melodic yeah, Descent. Yeah, Melodic yeah, yeah. Descent. Yeah, that was a really fun episode. That Dude, was really that was good. awesome. Yeah. That music is yeah. so good. I wanted to get them out here to do an episode of us uh, to do like a mini session well, as well. T- that so. can totally happen. Yeah, I can, I, I can, I can uh, try to help set that up if Sweet. you need. Sweet. Yeah, I talked a little bit to, um, I think a little bit to Travis. I don't remember who it was I was talking to through their Melodic Descent mm-hmm. Facebook page, but mm-hmm. I said, "Hey, dude, heard you guys on Burn It Down. It was awesome." By the way, go. As our, for our listeners, go check that episode out. Yeah, totally it is a, go check it out. It is a full, what, 50 minutes of nothing but you guys talking a little bit. And there wasn't a lot of talk, but mm-hmm. it was mostly a living room series where they're playing in your living room. And we're, you got yeah, you, got you guys out. mic'd up yep. and them mic'd up. Dude, it sounded awesome. It and, was and really good quality, just, too. They, you know, they're, they're playing to a small crowd of people, about eight or nine people. You know what I'm saying? And we're just sitting around there, you know, Bernie J is listening to fucking reggae. Yep. It was a fucking awesome time. Like, it was like a... It was it was good. Like I, the living room series are some of my favorites because 
you know, the show's so easy. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yes. Do your thing, guy. I'm going to yep. sit here and play my game on my phone and listen to some <laughs> fucking dope-ass music, wait for this J to come around. <laughs> yeah, those guys are perfect. That's my kind of music, too. I'm a huge fan of, well, originally Sublime. Yeah, and the, then that's the, the white boy reggae. Else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Well, cool, man. Yeah. Uh, so you're hanging out with us this episode. So you obviously just did the Twisted 10. Yeah. Uh, great go time. check that out. Dude, that list was great. You did uh, top 10 weed. myths about weed. Yeah. So yeah, that one's going to be a hit for sure. Um, so, all right. We're going to do a few things. All right. Thing number one. Wait. wait, wait. Adam, put your Love pants it. back on. So, <laughs> he's looking at the time Fuck. of the recording. All right. So, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Yo, you recently took a trip somewhere. My hero. Yeah, yeah. and this this trip, I'm sure, is going to get Dabs K's attention. At least the location, anyway. So give us a little recap of your little mini vacation you just took. So I got a hookup uh, from through Frontier for $70 round trip air ta- airfare to get from Orlando out to Colorado Springs. Shout out oh, to Frontier. Nice. They, right. they were actually, a quick side note, um, Frontier... Pretty good uh, people. They were doing hundred dollar tickets to Puerto Rico to help with the relief and everything like that. Oh, nice! So, oh, that's yeah. dope. I fucks with Frontier, man. So go ahead. But yeah, so uh, got crazy cheap round trip tickets. Uh, so I went with uh, Steph and Dan, our patrons, Patreon, Patreon patrons, Steph and Dan, friends of the show, yep. friends of the show, uh, and Ricky, also friend of the show. Ah, uh, yeah, the team teamwork guy. Me and Ricky have just been playing some Fortnite duo stuff together. Okay, yeah, y'all make saying. me want to get on some Fortnite, guys. Dude, it's good, it's so good. Yeah, and it's awesome. free. <laughs> like you have no reason at, not to. Look at your face right now. Andrea hates games. <laughs> look at your face. You're such a girl right now. Those stupid games. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry, guys. No, you're good. You're good. So the four of us went out there. We got a um, Airbnb. Uh, we were like 10 minutes away from downtown. Sweet. Um, and we were like a 30 minute drive from two of the craziest hiking locations ever. Okay. One of them was called Garden of the Gods, and it and it was a hike. <laughs> <laughs> She's on that bell. She's taking tax roll tonight. Right. Uh, so it's uh, we you park on this ridge and you hiked down into this valley mm-hmm. and there was just all these crazy rocks everywhere and it was desert and it was just like really cool to climb and walk around and everything it was super pretty because Florida is super fucking flat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, across the street from that, there was another one that was called Red Rocks Open Space, <laughs> and that was the opposite direction. You were climbing up like the foothills of the mountains. So your like your view was just co- consistently getting like just broader and broader of this giant valley that everybody was hiking in because it was gorgeous. That's so, awesome. Did uh, so? Let me ask you this: breathing in Colorado when you're elevated that high while hiking mm, is that really a thing? So I, I, I when I lived in Colombia for a year down in Bogota, that's at 8,500 feet. So I know the difference between you know being able to breathe in heavy oxygenated air versus being way up in altitude. Uh yeah, that part sucked. <laughs> was, yeah, with all that yeah. hiking though, yeah, yeah but hiking you were at six thousand feet no. is no joke. Yeah, for somebody who lives at sea level. Well, of course, hiking for me in Florida is going to take the trash out. So, oh, th- I'm three hundred pounds. Hiking for me is going to the kitchen. I'm getting a Snickers bar. What is this hiking you speak of? <laughs> oh, okay, me that's, and the, that's me. where you go and just walk outside and call it like an activity. Oh, like when you walk to the car. Okay. I mean, okay, that's a hike. <laughs> Except there's really cool shit to see. You gotta, on the way. You, you gotta take kick, a hike. You gotta kick two pine cones into the grass on the way to the car. Okay. That's, that make it official. <laughs> Makes hike. it more naturey. Yeah, yeah. Spot a but, squirrel. <clears throat> but all in all, it was it was a really unique experience because uh, everybody in Colorado was. Super nice. Mm-hmm. That's Duh. cool. Duh. They're all high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another thing. Weed like wasn't around. What? It wasn't like there was dispensaries and they were very obvious, but mm-hmm. like it wasn't. You can't smoke outside. If you smoke outside, it's like a two hundred dollar fine. So, because really? that's something that I've heard about about Colorado is that like when you walk around, you can smell it in the air everywhere ah. you go. Mm. But driving around Denver, you could definitely smell it. Yeah, on really? certain p- sp- uh, parts of the highway. Hmm. Certain parts of the highway, they're fucking fogging out the highway. Hell yeah! So yeah, was that like near uh, the residential area that's heavy in well use? Maybe where? where? So uh, Colorado Springs is medical only. Please, mm-hmm. please, I'm gonna interrupt you. Please tell me it's like our boys that run the the local mom and pop smoker barbecue shop down the road that will purposely smoke out the area so you get that scent and crave their you know their good flavored barbecue is it the same way in it's, Colorado it's not oh 
<laughs> um, we actually, so I wasn't going to go to Colorado without going into a dispensary. Okay, because who does that, right? Yeah, yeah. It comes with, I don't care if you smoke or not. Yeah. <laughs> so, because, so I had in my mind that I was going to walk into this place and it was just going to be like mason jars on the wall and they were just going to be like, what do you want? And mm-hmm. I was, it was actually really clean, really professional. It was like IT, ID checks out front. The rooms were all like, dis- like really decked out, very modern. You were brought and given to a salesperson who was super knowledgeable about everything. Mm-hmm. Very nice about the, like a like, lead sommelier. Yes, exactly. He was the bud tender. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Bud, bud tender. That would, yeah. That's the funniest name in the world, dude. That would be my dream job, man. Yeah, it's um. Could you imagine a trans ginger bud tender? Oh my god, trans ginger <laughs> bud tender, man! That's, that's a, you got to rap about that. Yeah, now. So I'm about to say that's the name of a song right there, <laughs> man. Tag, you should get on that. <laughs> yeah, so it was a it was a really cool experience. Got to uh, see Snoop Dogg's entire line of products. Oh my god, really? Yeah, he has a lot of weed products. A lot, a lot. Doesn't doesn't surprise me there, mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg. It was there was like easily a hundred different things in his section of this one store. I heard that his strain of OG Kush too is fucking as bad as I've never had. Really? It, but I want it. Yeah, they say it's really good. Oh, it's grown by the company that we went to. It's grown yeah, by it's grown man. by Livewell. See, I should have went there, man. <laughs> it's only if seventy bucks. Get, like, is they still got the seven dollar tickets? Yeah, just go on Frontier. Man, in my phone. Hold on. It's like a hundred <laughs> bucks without the discount. Ooh, ooh. You can a, ask Google. We can actually that that works, right? The the uh, airline lookups. Let's give it a go. All right, go for it, Josh. Hey Google, how much does it cost to fly from Orlando to Colorado Springs on Frontier next Tuesday? Uh, All right. What's your return date? Next Thursday. This dude picked my payday and everything. How you know? Round trip flights on Frontier Airlines from Orlando to Colorado Springs, leaving November 28th and coming back November like 30th. $171. $171. $171. Ooh, 171. We forgot a C note in front of that 70. it's Thanksgiving weekend. Oh, oh that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so 170 bucks on a holiday. Still, okay, man, I'm going to Colorado. <laughs> Two more paychecks. I'm finna fly out. So you need to take a bunch of burn it down magnets and stickers and slap oh them God, all over the place. In Colorado, that yes. would be awesome. Oh man, and it was super clean. Mm-hmm. Like everywhere was clean. It was that's, bizarre. That's in, good. In a like in Denver, in like the super sterile city. looking, right? Like yeah. too clean. Like goddamn. It's because nobody goes outside. They're all high inside their homes. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck, going out. We're what good I, right here. Like, the sun hurts my eyes. <laughs> 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 fuck that shit. It was so, so it was funny to see too. Like so, we went by uh, Safeway, and there was just people walking around the grocery store high. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. Wait, we have that here too, and like you know, okay. cocoa. I mean, that's, that happens. That's when I go to the grocery store, I guess what I'm doing. <laughs> It was just, it was oddly comfortable. It's like mm-hmm. something that I've been told my whole life is like this bad thing. And that yeah. was just everywhere. It was, it was cool though, but it was like, nobody was rude about it. Nobody was upset about it. Nobody mm-hmm. said anything about it. Just kind of. That's dope, man. That's could, dope. Could you see a treatment difference between like a recognition of somebody being high in the way that a, a, a retail store person would interact with them? Is there like an, an acknowledgement of, okay, you're stoned. I'm going to do this this way with you because. Not really. Like it was awkwardly like unacknowledged. Just, really? Awkwardly blatant. So they've yeah. literally out removed like face. all the taboo out of the yeah. social uh stereotypes for being high. It's that's, just gone. For, yeah. So that's awesome. That's progressive, really? man. That's cool to hear. That's could, really cool. Could you tell like the people like you, like the weed tourists that were like 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 not used to this, you know, like oh my god, like not really weed tourists, but n- new to the, a tourist, new to the experience, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna answer that question and tie into my earlier point that these are the nicest people I've ever encountered. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so uh Dan was there and Dan and I both vape. And we were trying to find a vape store. And mm-hmm. they were there was actually we only found four in Denver. It was weird. And it was weed. <laughs> vape? We don't vape in the sound this town. Yeah, so we were walking uh into another grocery store and I said, like, man, I can't believe how hard it is to find a place to buy vape juice. And this guy was getting out of his car, he heard me, and he like scurried over and he's like, Hey, hey, what are you looking for uh do you say vape juice? There's a place right down the road over here. Mm-hmm. I was like, Oh, c- uh, cool. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. And he opened his jacket. He was nude underneath, but on each jacket was all of these vapes he wanted you to try. Nope. He just no. oh. he was just like, hey, you know, you're welcome. Have a that's good time. awesome. And walked away. I was like, oh, that was the, that was the craziest thing that's ever happened to me because he was just so nice and came out of nowhere. 
That's cool. See, weed culture, man. It's taking over. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's mm-hmm. a very good thing. Could you imagine if marijuana is legalized and becomes part of our typical culture over the next 20, 30 years? Could you imagine the the, the people who will be running our country at that point? Will They'll be, the, be so much cooler. We'll have peace Ooh. for years to come. <laughs> Years and years Look, and years. Just, just, just the, just the tax benefits alone. It's ridiculous. So. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, they charge twenty five percent tax mm-hmm. on any cannabis products. Really? Ooh. Yep. The fucking government's making their money on that. Of course, Colorado is the birthplace in the U.S. of how to do it the right way. Yeah, Colorado, California. Yeah, but uh, look. I don't care, man. Charge you twenty five percent, right? Right. At, th- at this point, at this point, do what you gotta do, bro. You know, <laughs> like it, it's only gonna help. I guess I'm at I'm at a point in my life where I'm old enough to understand that that is only gonna help my my economy in the in the place where I live. You know what I'm saying? If the little place where I live is getting an extra hundred million dollars a year because legal reefers now legal, you know what I'm saying? And they're taxing the shit out of it, and people are still gonna fucking buy it because that's how economics work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. And I I my, I feel like where I'm gonna live is gonna be a much nicer place. Yeah, that's and a that's, good point. And that's like so. Stephanie, she looked into it. And a lot of that money is making it into the school system. Their schools See? are getting greatly improved. They're using it the right way. That, that's awesome, man. That's really awesome to hear, man. Like, like, I, you can smoke and still be intelligent. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, let's have the correlation start. Dude, <laughs> you all know. right, Dabs, I'm gonna propose this to you now. All right, you're proposing I'm to proposing him? to Dabs. <gasps> <gasps> She's told <totally> jelly. <laughs> we need to do mm-hmm. a combined. This is new. This is something new. If other shows do this, forgive me. I, I didn't steal it. I just thought of this we need to do a combined podcast that includes our listeners trip and weekend to colorado okay look a a burn it down and living podcariously group trip to colorado we'll have a whole list of events to do while we're there Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. itinerary i'm sure it's been done before but we can do it again like say i think this would be fun where's the who's the logistics person around here who who, how do we get this done i got computer who would i get computer in touch with over here not it not Josh. Oh, Mr. Wilson Mr. would be that. Wilson. Too late, buddy. Tack do it. Tack's not here. Oh, Tack isn't here. Yeah. Let's say not doing Guess it. what? Tack is going to be the logistics coordinator for this with you guys. So, All yes. All right. Look, we need to do, look. Give me six months and we'll fucking figure something out. So done. I'm, I'm dead serious. I think this would be a fun trip. You want to do that, baby? You want to take a Colorado trip with podcasts? Maybe. <laughs> we can shop when we get there for shopping. Maybe that's where I'm going to propose. <gasps> <laughs> At the top to of a dabs. mountain, you get to dabs cave. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on this on this hike we're going on, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Actually, the Josh. That's didn't. that's exactly how I proposed. Oh yeah. my god, because yeah. it's so cute. Like yeah. I want the snow around me when I get proposed to. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Wait, no, the snow. That's snow. Columbia, buddy. That's a whole other. <laughs> we a whole other. We went in the summertime. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it was nice. Fuck snow. <laughs> I thought it was, oh, fuck with that shit. Fuck some snow. All right. It on that. It would be freezing to fuck in the snow. On that, we're going to take a break here in studio. Uh, when we come back, we're going to hear some really interesting shit about Thanksgiving. Right, Andrew? Yay, Thanksgiving. All right. We'll be right back. Hey, it's Adam. If you enjoy the content or the cast of Living Podcariously, be sure to check out the other show we produce. It's called The Twisted Ten. Each week, a host or a guest host takes over the show and brings their own unique and original top ten list to the show. Here's a few examples. Top ten crazy religious practices. Top ten sexual fetishes. Twisted Guinness World Records. Top ten possible human extinction events. And my personal favorite, top ten best or worst infomercial products. As you can see the content is all over the place for the show however it is a lot of fun to produce and we hope you like it as always thanks for listening
Village Idiot Pub. You locals know about it. You guys from out of town have to check them out. Village Idiot Pub is now a proud sponsor with Living Podcariously and the Twisted Ten Podcasts. It's more than just about commercials, though. The cast here will be taking our show on the road to Village Idiot to record some episodes as well as hold events. They have over 30 beers on tap, including ciders and Hefeweizen, my favorite, as well as hundreds of bottle choices. Adam, you forgot my favorite, all the delicious wine. (laughs) So get your friends together and enjoy the board games, puzzles, and the giant Jenga. Let the owner Jason, as well as the rest of the staff there, take excellent care of your beer drinking needs. Mention either one of our shows to the staff and get 10% off your tab. Tuesday is open mic, Wednesday is trivia, Thursday is karaoke, Friday and Saturday night are live music. Visit them at 4 Harrison Street, Suite 103, Cocoa, Florida, or Village Idiot Pub on Facebook. And don't forget, they are a dog-friendly location, so bring your friends, family, and fur babies. Andrea, we close most of our shows telling our listeners how they can come see you up at Brent Allen Salon and Day Spa. Do you want to tell the listeners the cool news or can I? I think I've got this one, Adam. Brent Allen Salon and Day Spa is joining the Dichotomy Media team. And this time, the investment is being turned around to you, the listener. Keep your eye on our podcast Facebook page for contests and giveaways that include massages, pedicures, and gift cards for all services. Brent Allen is a Paul Mitchell focus salon, which keeps us up to date on the latest hair trends and fashions. The atmosphere at Brent Allen is inviting as well as comfortable. The spa brings the definition of tranquility into a reality. You can enjoy a wide range of massage techniques to facials, body scrubs, wraps, pedicures, waxing, spray tan, and much more. Brent Allen Salon and Day Spa is located at 3570 North Highway 1 in Coco, just one mile north of 528. Come in and see us in person or visit us online. The pricing and menu of services can be found at brentallensalon.net or call to book an appointment at 321-639-7376. If you book with me, be sure to mention this ad and receive 20% off your first service. Hey, Tech, you ever have that conversation with your girl about where to eat dinner and it always turns into that back and forth? I don't know. You pick. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, yeah. Yeah? Well, I've got an answer for you next time that comes up. Oh, yeah? Where at? The Salty Fox in Melbourne off of Old Galley Boulevard. Oh, nice. You know, I've actually been there and the food was pretty awesome. Hey, yeah, it was. They offer a great selection of paninis, shareable appetizers, soups and salads, and one of the best desserts I've ever had, the Funky Monkey. Oh, yeah. My favorite was the vintage options. They got this meal called Ramen Noodle on Crack. You just got to try it out. Done. That's definitely what I'm getting next time. Put the fun between your legs at the Salty Fox every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. with the Old Galley Arts District Bike Crawl. It's a four-mile bicycle ride down Pineapple Avenue with stops for food and beer all along the route. Be sure to visit the Salty Fox every Sunday for brunch from 11 to 4. Hey, isn't that the $10 bottomless mimosas brunch? Sure is. Enjoy your brunch while the Salty Fox's DJ spins throwbacks and top 40 hits. Salty Fox is located in the downtown O'Galley Art District on O'Galley Boulevard. Check them out on Facebook at facebook.com slash saltyfoxmelbourne or online at thesaltyfox.net. Hey listeners, be sure to mention you heard about the Salty Fox on our show and you'll get 10% off your meals. And welcome back to Living Pod Curiously. Before we get into this, uh, into the next segment at all, uh, Josh, we posted something on some social media. Yeah, we're, uh, so we were going to the studio. We just said, you know, hey, send us a message on Facebook. Give a shout out to whoever you want. And we got some response. So we're going to show some love back. 
So from Derek Michael Squeeze, he says... Sh- Derek Squeeze? I'm pretty sure he's yeah. one of our Patreons. Yeah. He says, shout out to all of you guys for making great pods to listen to while I work. So hell yeah, awesome. dude. Thank you, Derek. Yeah, man. Thanks for listening. Uh, we got one from Tack. He says, shout out. Shout out to us. Sorry he couldn't be here. Uh-huh. Tack, the uh, the best looking transgender in Brevard. Okay. Should we go with that? <laughs> Is that his new tag? I like it. We're not going to tell him anything about it until the day this drops. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, Tack. Like, what is this goddamn transgender bullshit? <laughs> and uh, we got another one from our Patreon subscriber, Stephanie. Stephanie and Dan. Friend of the show, my sister. She just says, shout out to us because she loves us. Aww. Aww. Love we you love too, you too, Stephanie. Steph. Well, y'all get lots of love on y'all show. Hey, Steph, oh. be sure to go check out the Burn It Down show. You'll love it. I'm mm-hmm. just saying. Okay. Actually, I think she listens. I'm pretty sure she listens to Burn okay, It Down, Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. So if not, you need to. It's what's up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a ringing endorsement right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, t- oh, by the way, if you want to hear another shout out during uh, during live recording, uh, we put a m- message up on the podcast mafia. So anybody who put something in their daps, K would read. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that was over on the twisted 10 this week. And tack happened to write something for dabs. K to read. Yes. But Andrea's loving that bell. Get it girl. <laughs> oh, you can ring my bell. Fuck this cat. <laughs> can you set her down if you want to Josh. That's what, that's what, what she, she can said. Hang out. She can hang out if she chills out. What's she doing? She getting all excited. So we Clawing got the fuck out of his leg. We got <laughs> a new, uh, nine week old, Kitten. So yeah. that's a, that's not a plug. You don't plug the kitten. <laughs> that sounded wrong, but don't, you know what I meant. Don't <laughs> plug the boo. kitten. You broke the bell. So we, we should probably take that away and give it back to Tack. Uh, all right. <laughs> so Josh, Andrea, and I got to do something that was really fun. Uh, it, Dabs, you might like this kind of stuff too. I don't know. Are you a musical theater kind of fan? Uh, that that would be a ten no 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 yeah. and no is okay. I wasn't ever really a musical f- theater mm-hmm. fan from about the time I got graduated high school, up to about two years ago. From at Andrea, mm-hmm. and she got me back into it a little bit. And it's there's certain ones that I love. I absolutely have a blast at, and there are certain musicals that I don't. I don't appreciate the talent as much as other people do. So some of the shows, like the more serious dramas, mm-hmm. are just boring to me. You know, I just I don't like them. I love the comedies and I love the ones with high energy. <clears throat> Understandable. That, yeah. Andrea and I just went to see over at Surfside Playhouse on Cocoa Beach. We went to see their musical version of uh, Monty Python's Spam a Lot. See, that's something I would definitely oh. make an exception for. I would, I, would, I would sit through the songs because it's Monty Python. Yeah. You know, so have you ever seen Monty Python on Search for the Holy Grail? The, uh, the movie a long time ago, but yes, I actually I have seen it. Yeah. It is that story, that exact same story of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table mm-hmm. on their search for the Holy Grail. It's that same story, but set with all the same characters, but set to a musical. Okay. And do, it, How long was this musical? Uh, what, about an hour and forty minutes. So like a long movie, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. And there's an intermission, and they serve beer and wine. Okay. So and some beers. And snacks. It's getting better. Yeah, and snacks. And, and munchies. I'm just saying, you can go mm-hmm. and have a... I well, think it's I, over now. Well, yeah, for that show, yeah. That show, it's over. However, spam... Al- go ahead. Are you allowed to bring your vape pens? Not inside the theater. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's the one the one downer. So you outside? Their yeah, but then you miss the music. Just bring like a Join toilet paper mission. roll. Fill it with toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Wet toilet paper, blow into it. Um, no, they have, uh, they've got beer and wine and there is an intermission. So about halfway through the show, you get a good 20 minute break to go okay. outside, do your okay. thing, get another beer. Of course, you can get beers during the show too. But mm-hmm. no, it was really good. So Steve Mogel, who's a good friend of ours, uh, uh, turned us on to this a, a while back and we shot a video for him, a little promo video featuring a couple of the characters. Mm-hmm. And God, promoted it and got it a few hilarious. hundred views. <laughs> the video was really good. It, okay. it turned out really good. Get props to Tack for his editing and filming skills because he knows how to capture some good shit on oh, film. Yeah. He's he's really good at doing that shit. But uh, the 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 characters portrayed their their characters on the show. It wasn't like interviewing a behind the scenes with the actor that plays the character. Mm-hmm. We had them in character. So we had that's fucking you sweet. know yeah. we had the enchanter and the and one of the French guards that taunts people. He was mm-hmm. he kind of stole that video a little bit. But um, dude, it Steve really let us in on a good thing by introducing us to that group of people out there out of the playhouse. And you know they don't pay us for for ads or sponsorship or anything mm-hmm. like that. It's just a community theater, and it's the people that. It, are, that make it because they volunteer all their time. The set construction, the lights, the actors, the singer, the whole nine yards, all volunteers. So big props to them. I think something that's like volunteer based like that is probably, it, 
it is is a better production anyways you know cuz you know that everybody there is there for the love and they're they're there cuz they're passionate about what whatever it is whether it's the, the 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 play itself or the set design you know what i'm saying like yeah, everybody who's there doing it is there because that's what they love and i feel like you get a better performance a, a better product that way so i'm i'm kind of jelly i missed that i, I would have i feel like i might have enjoyed that well you know if, i guess good things come in twos um Coco Village Playhouse. So we're not a fan of either individually. Mm-hmm. You know, the play all the playhouses in Brevard are our playhouse. Yeah, they're all good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coco Village is doing the same production, Monty Python's Spam a lot, but it's not going to be until what March, Andrea? Is it the same cast? No, no, no. It's all different. You have to audition for this mm-hmm. one as well. Mm-hmm. You so, can audition for it. What? You could. Was, yeah. there, was there black people in Monty Python? <laughs> sure. I don't remember any black people in the Monty Python. So it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> me. England in 932 AD. You can be one of the dead so. people on the cart. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? You can be one of the dead people on the cart. Yeah. Okay. See? That's... What are we talking about? We're missing a great opportunity. You could be the Black Knight. The... <gasps> oh. Oh, Racist. Yes. Just like, wait, what? Is that? You, said, you said black. I didn't. Wait a minute now. That's not fair. You told me racism is fun. Is it not? No, you can't you say things like to me. a black man in the studio. He could, you know, he's gonna get mad. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, dude, you could though. You could audition if you want to. I, I don't. Okay. Maybe. No yeah. experience do necessary. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to sing. You can be the. Uh, anything there's a ton I, of i'll do some set design hold on but i'm auditioning i've been practicing with our boy jason crace who's a employee for the coca village playhouse he's teaching me voice lessons he's giving me voice lessons mm-hmm. or selling me and whatever. mr wilson is gonna come and be an audience member yeah i'm gonna do my best i will tell yeah, i'm gonna, I I'm gonna watch the wilson. shit out of that shit <laughs> yeah dude, i might even sing a couple songs <laughs> oh dude it's so it was so so the guys over at coco beach that surfside playhouse did a really mm. they, they they blew me away with uh, uh, their ability to harmonize, especially the knights, they were fucking really good. So I'm a little nervous because I I don't know how to really harmonize too well yet. I haven't got that part of the, the <laughs> skills down. So we'll see. You know, at least come come time for auditions. Hopefully, I'll be I'll be ready. See, I got a built in singer and teacher right here. You still doing the coaching? Yeah, yeah. I'm still working with Jason. I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. So I got to go back and see him. Uh, is 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 singing something that you can get better at? Like, Absolutely. Is it something that you can start off as a bad singer yes. and and train yourself to be a good singer? Absolutely. Because I always wanted to be able to sing, um, but I'm not good at it. Like I always tell my friends, man, if I could sing, I'd probably have a six pack, like, <laughs> and I would just sing with my shirt off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like if I could, if I could sing, I think that's why God blessed me with a terrible voice. Because if I could sing, I swear to God, I would be a healthier individual all the way around. I would, man, you don't understand. No shirt all the time. So Jason told me, and Andrea mm-hmm. could probably speak to this better because she's actually a singer, but. Uh, Jason told me that singing is you're literally working at a muscle. It's the the larynx muscle mm-hmm, that's you know mm-hmm. making the vibrations. Pa- basically, it shakes, and that's what makes your voice. Yes, and you can teach that muscle just like muscle memory for anything else you do. Riding, for example, riding a bicycle, uh, lifting weights. You can exercise that muscle, strengthen it, teach it, train it, and you can literally become a better singer that's just by practice. So I'm, it's see, you shouldn't have told me that. Now I'm now I'm gonna be googling singing coaches. Dabs K is gonna be king. Oh, no one. I say. Oh. He's talking about one who's local right now. Yeah, Jason Craze, Coco Village Playhouse. This isn't a shameless plug for him. He's helping me out, but he charges. It's cheap. It's it's no, affordable. Okay, but it's we'll good. talk about it. We'll talk about charges it. Charges by the half hour or hour. Okay. Just saying. And he uses the, the, the studio up there. But anyway. All right. So we are. Can we actually, before we get away from yeah. that, can we talk about. Our next filming thing? Yeah, we can talk about it. So the the ink is not done yet. However, uh, they're checking on licensing. But Dichotomy Media, which is our company, has been permitted or selected. You choose whichever one you want. We get to film Hot Pink during their Queen tribute up at Coco Village Playhouse. (laughs) That's sweet. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to attack is going to be directing and Mm -hmm. producing this. So Mm -hmm. this is his baby. He's got his degree in filmmaking and production. So uh, we're gathering up our, he's gathering up his crew. Your mm-hmm. crew can call my crew. We can rendezvous. All right. Anyway, at the bar, sounds around like a two. bunch of pirates. Uh, he's <laughs> gathering up everybody uh, the uh, to get together for production assistance for people who will actually be shooting in the crowds, like holding shooting. the cameras, video, Yo, video, oh, video oh, shooting. In a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, we're we're gonna do it. So uh, you you've heard Hot Pink. You, you saw yes, Hot Pink at our yeah, listener event. Exactly. They're doing 
like a two hour show, two two of them, two nights worth of shows up at Coco Village Playhouse for a Queen tribute. That's going to be badass. Fucking Tack has this jib crane thing we're going to be using. The, 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 the stabilizer one? Yeah. yeah. The, so the he can like sweet. pan it out into the audience and get what? some people in the audience. Yeah, dude, it's going to be You know nuts. what's even more badass is I get to sing with the band. What? Yes. <laughs> yes, they invited Andrew to be part of their chorus. Yes. What, what song are you singing with them? Uh, about four. 15 of them. Dude, so you're going to be up there the whole night. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking badass. Yeah, it's so cool. I awesome. wish, Nancy, I wish I could sing. God damn it. <laughs> I'm yeah. toast jelly. Go see your boy Jason Craze up at the Playhouse. <laughs> He'll hook you up. Look, look, if Jason could make me sing good, it would be the best endorsement for him ever. You could I be swear. the next American Idol. Okay, I want to be Ruben. Can I be Ruben? <laughs> <laughs> I, would be, yes. I, would, I, would, I would start singing the gospel. <laughs> uh, by the way, for listeners, if you want to get tickets, they're pretty much sold out for Friday. However, Saturday shows are still available. Coco Village Playhouse dot com is that the correct address? Yeah. And then you'll see the tickets on there. You can just click buy tickets and pick whichever show, and you get to pick your seats and the whole nine yards. So, but yeah, we'll be up there recording Saturday. I don't, I'm not sure if it's the matinee or the evening show yet, but we're going to be up there recording Saturday. Hopefully. Either way, it's going to be super cool. Yeah. We're going to get behind the scenes, like when they're oh, done man, and come man. back out. And we're going to get crowd reactions out front when you're leaving. Like, hey, what'd you think? And oh, yeah, I can't wait. Gonna... I was, you know what? I, in my in my youth, I was actually in a few plays. Like, like I do really? like the theater. Like, shh, don't tell nobody. I do a lot of white <laughs> stuff on the weekends. <laughs> 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 That was funny. I think, and it may just be my exposure with Andrea, but I think theater in its essence is getting a huge comeback. Mm -hmm. I think it's starting to become more of a popular or mainstream thing to do. For a long time, it was always, you know, uh, 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 stereotyped into certain categories of people Mm -hmm. that would do that. Yeah. Predominantly old people. Effeminate too. Absolutely. That's Mm -hmm. a huge stereotype. Mm -hmm. Not that that's not present. However, all it's not breath, all that's there. Yeah, all yeah. stretches of life go mm-hmm. and do these theater performances. Like and now, transgenders. Especially <laughs> transgenders. Yeah, especially transgenders. <laughs> she, she's all over that fucking plug bell. All right, so anyway, go check out your tickets. Uh, a, I've got tickets for Friday night, but I'm also going to go up for filming for Saturday sometime. So uh, if you want to see us up there and want to get on some video, then come on up and see us. Sweet. All right, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanks. Thanksgiving's here. Thanksgiving's almost here. Actually, this episode, I believe, will drop on Thanksgiving. Is that this coming Thursday? Thir- yeah, now yeah. that's something yeah. to be thankful for. Yay! <laughs> so, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, so, first things first, traditions. Do you guys have any, like, not necessarily unusual, but traditions in your families that you really stick to around Thanksgiving? We Is there something turkey. you always do? <laughs> You're okay, yeah. Turkey. Well, all right. We, I mean, we that's, eat the turkey. That's that's one, and we create leftovers for more sandwiches. I think Thanksgiving is more about the days after Thanksgiving and eating like all the turkey sandwiches afterwards. Because, like, <laughs> yes. I mean, my family's not big on traditions or or re- re- repeatedly doing anything. You know what I'm saying? But we have turkey and we have green bean casserole and we have mashed potatoes. I know them three things got to be there, and and yeah, we just eat. The green bean casserole is pretty good. My mother makes a broccoli casserole every mm. holiday. Oh, it's my favorite food in the entire world. Yeah, Absolutely, I'm not, a, I'm not a giant fan of broccoli. You don't really I've taste broccoli. I've got a bunch though. of food. Mm. We can talk about food. Right. Okay. All right. All, right. All right. Other traditions then. <laughs> I, I mean, I do the most stereotypical thing ever. Like mm-hmm. the whole family gets together, we make a whole bunch of the stereotypical food. We eat a bunch, and then we sit around talking about how full and tired we are. Okay, and watch some football. I usually nap while the game is on. Me and you love football. I don't mm-hmm. think either one of these two have football in their traditions very much. Yay, sports! <laughs> <laughs> I know Tack, our transgender, does not watch football. Tra- 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 <laughs> <laughs> I almost called him track. <laughs> then yes. I tried to call him Chack. <laughs> I don't know what the F is going on? Paint me like one of your French girls, Chack. <laughs> uh, uh, Dabs K just took a shirt off in the studio. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Wait, wait till you guys get the cameras, man. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I used to do fo- – football was a big part of my Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. It hasn't really been that way for the last few years. Well, you know what? I'm not going to lie. My team or the Eagles, they're on team right, right now. But – my team has been kind of 
poopy the last three years. So I haven't been watching much football at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I don't watch football to watch anybody else's team do good. You I'm know the Dolphins. So, <laughs> so I, my, my team's a Dolphins. So yeah, See, I couldn't, I couldn't have grown up, I grown up a, a Browns fan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something like that where I <laughs> yep. could never watch my team play good. It would, it would kill me. Oh, oh. Yay, sports. Look at Andrea's face. <laughs> she's, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, it I like the Thanksgiving over. Day parade. Okay. All right. There you go. Thanksgiving and Day I like parade. Looking at the uh, ads for Black Friday. Black Friday. I, look, I'm I'm looking forward to this year's Black Friday. Are you a Black Friday uh, fan? Look, it? I'm getting pain two days before. You better believe I'm finna black fuck Black Friday. Ugh. Andrea, Andrea used to do that with her sister a lot. She used to go and wait mm. in those fucking lines at like. Oh, two mine's all going to be on the it, internet. Internet. Yeah. Well, that's the Cyber Monday, right? Isn't that the big no, thing? Fuck well, no. Did they do Dude, all the sales black all Friday. week long? Yeah, man. Really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I never got into Black Friday. Yeah. I've always hated it because of the lines. Yeah, I'm not, not going to stores. You're right on that aspect. It, of it. it is hmm. the biggest hustle mm. ever. Actually, it's gotten to the point now. So much business. Margaret goes. My wife goes. She goes every year with her mom because they just go and like to spend time with each other and walk around stores and stuff. It's sure. Cool. But they have said over the past few years, it's like not as crazy and chaotic as it, it used, used to be. be. Yeah. There's still because long lines internet. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's no reason. Like all the best deals are online two weeks in advance. Like they, they had to figure out a way to stop people from getting trampled. Yeah. It, people were dying in Walmart year after year well, after year. Well, you got to stop putting natural ice on sale. <laughs> They still have door busters, though. Mm. That's true. There are. Yeah. A, there's definitely every store has a handful of legitimately awesome deals. No. Because they want the foot traffic, they just don't want the people getting trampled. <laughs> Those videos are so good, though. They, man. Oh my god! Oh. Let's look at some old man just got. Oh, he's gone. He's down. Oh my god! <laughs> old oh man my god. down. Nobody's oh stopping. They're somebody, stepping on him. Somebody make some room. Do something. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's two grown ass adults fighting what? over a Game Boy, <laughs> <laughs> or like a like a plush like stuffed toys. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, all right. So we said something about foods earlier. So foods. Andrea, yes. did you bring something to the table? Yes. Proverbially. I have like the 18 most important Thanksgiving foods ranked. Okay. Ooh. From number ranked. one is like the most important thing on your Thanksgiving table. Mm -hmm. So are we going to do this like agree or disagree kind of situation? Well, if you want to. Agree or disagree. Deal. I like it. <laughs> Number 18 is green bean casserole. Ah, there you That's go. That's the lastest one. It's Come the last on, one. man. That should be up <laughs> a little higher. That doesn't make any sense. I disagree. Pe okay. Yeah, people, disagree with placement. Yeah. <laughs> people talk about how much they love this cauldron of beans, fried onions, and Campbell's cream mm. of mushroom. Oh, I'm getting hungry. But then they only take a spoonful. Full. There's a reason you only see this once a year. <laughs> I don't believe. I take that. a spoonful to leave for everybody else and take the rest on my plate. No, that's true though. I only want it for Thanksgiving. I don't like if you pull out a green bean casserole on a random day. I'll be oh, like, that's what the fuck point. is wrong with you, dude? You know what? Go to like a company potluck or something and drop a casserole, like a green bean casserole, mm -hmm. and everyone loses their mind because they only see it once on a Thanksgiving. Year. Yeah. That's, that's a good point. point. That's a good there. call. Yeah. yeah. That's. A Number seventeen is cranberry sauce. Ew. How did how did green bean casserole lose yeah, the cranberry, cranberry sauce? Cranberry sauce is gross. It's garbage. I, you should try mine. I make a homemade one that's delicious. No, I, I, well, I would deal. I would do a homemade one over this Jello sauce. And reuses about a pound of sugar in hers. See, and that's I can fuck what I'm with talking about. One. Yeah, I can <laughs> mess with that. It one. tastes like Jello. It's so good. Mm. It says mm. it's always there, sitting on the table, usually still shaped like a can, ribbed See? perimeter and all. <laughs> if it's not there, somebody will freak out. That same person. Person won't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> no cranberry sauce? You're not going to eat it anyway, George. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fucking gross. Number 16 is candied yams. All right. Okay, I'll candy some yams, too. That's delicious. Yeah. People some marshmallows always, on top? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. People what, always no? confuse these for sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. and we're not really sure what the difference is, except for the fact that they are usually round and don't have marshmallows, and are huh? kind of gross if you didn't grow up eating them. <laughs> Wait a minute. So candied yams are not... The things I eat with marshmallows nope. on top? That's just sweet potatoes? That's like sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. Like yeah. mashed sweet potatoes? Did, did anybody else watch what just happened? Uh, Adam was just anonymously deflated by the internet. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay, Google, fuck you. Sorry if I upset you. To report a problem, you can send feedback. Okay. You, you got my Google going. <laughs> I heard it too. <laughs> Number 15 is sweet potatoes. These are also kind of gross if you didn't grow up eating them, but there are marshmallows, so they win. No, <laughs> sweet potatoes are, are, are dang. They're so good. I love sweet potatoes. And I don't know necessarily like marshmallows, but sweet potatoes are dang. Yeah. I'm a big fan of sweet potatoes. 
No thanks. Well, I like sweet. I don't like the candied ones with all the marshmallows and stuff. Mm-mm. Number fourteen is corn. It's here because we can't celebrate Thanksgiving without a little maze. And also because it is a good visual Maze. evidence that you are beginning to digest your gigantic meal. Ooh, Ooh that's wow. a little gross. I can't believe they went there. <laughs> there's, there's simple one, one thing about corn. I, I just found out actually last month. Uh, it's used to actually clean out your system. If they think you're trying to smuggle contraband in to the jails, they will stuff you full of corn as, as much as they can and because your body doesn't really digest it so it all comes out as corn at the end and it, it actually it's good for your colon it'll clean you out but at the same time that's how they, they look for drugs in the prison wow system. so it's like a drug screening system mm-hmm. yeah corn it just, and it'll send it so right out of you it'll sift everything out yeah. I want oh, wow. some corn now that sounds <laughs> that sounds torturous <laughs> okay right <laughs> <laughs> Number 13 is Brussels sprouts. If you have to eat a veggie, and we don't because we're adults now, (sighs) you could do... You could do a hell of a lot worse, worse than these little cabbage balls. So then you can, yeah, gross. Disagree. So right. how did this bullshit get above green bean casserole? <laughs> right? Oh, above my God. Green, yes. The, the green bean casserole at least has got to be in the top five to me. <sighs> well, number 12 is the turducken. Turkey stuffed I've... with a duck, stuffed with a chicken would be at the top of this of and most any list if anyone could actually knew how to make it. Oh, is, has anybody in the room ever had one? Never. Never had one once before. I've never had one myself. However, I grew up with this guy named John and his family every year. Like really? Like ha- handmade turducken by some family he had in Alaska. Andrea had a great idea. She'd get a turducken and then dip it in the fucking frying. The Deep fried turducken. Deep fried, yeah. Let's do it. Who's got the, <laughs> the, the, the peanut oil? Right? I don't have a container big enough for deep oh. frying. Yeah, see, I just wanted just I've, a turkey. It doesn't, deep fry the turkey. To, it doesn't have to be a duck and a chicken. See, I want I want to look ever since I was little watching the turduckins on TV, John Madden, your boy John, Adam. I want a turducken. I want I'm not a fan of of, of duck either. I don't look in particularly you, like, dude, like duck, but deep fried duck sounds pretty fucking good though. Crispy. Anything it deep sound fried good. sounds the delicious. The duck isn't gonna be crispy though, it's inside. It'll mm. still get crispy. The, the, the oil will make it in there. No, it won't. You uh, never had a deep fried turkey? Never. No. Oh, it's super juicy. It's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> oh, okay, stop. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, number 11, crescent roll. Oh. You know you can buy turducken at the grocery, right? Where? What grocery store? You just cook it in the oven around the holidays. Like Publix, Walmart. Publix yeah. don't got no turduckens. Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Where do they sell turduckens at? Big? All right, we're trying this. We're trying this. We're trying this. Okay, Google. Where can I buy a turducken? I found a couple places. The first one is Sam's Club at 10385 Big Bend Road in Riverview. Sam's Club, fucking like Riverview. The one is Alpine Steakhouse at 4520 South Tamiami Trail in Sarasota. Oh, these are all over in Tampa. Yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, 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 BJ's is that BJ's? They Sam's. Said? Sam's. They got Sam's. Sam. They got Sam's down by my way too. You can go fuck with the Sam's membership right now, aren't you? Uh, my boss just <laughs> told me to go get the card. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. I'm getting a turducken this year. <laughs> Number 11, crescent rolls. Seriously, the one day year that everyone brings their A game and you pop a Pillsbury can, get with it, man. And also, please pass the delicious crescent rolls. Uh, yeah, I, I, I see crescent rolls as being part of the Thanksgiving dinner, but nowhere near as important as yeah, green just, bean casserole. It's just Still, I'm it's so just salty filler. about that. <laughs> it doesn't deserve the bottom spot. No, no, no. no. Number 10, honey baked ham. Somebody uh, at your okay. table decided that 30 pounds of poultry just wasn't enough meat. That person <laughs> should be sitting at the head of the table. 100% agreed. I, I actually am, am a big fan of both. Like I, I, I like to have ham and turkey on the Thanksgiving. I do too, 100%. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, my friend, uh, his name's Rick. He lives up in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. He actually owns a slaughterhouse. And he, Sweet. Yeah, he, he, uh, it's, it's in the mountains of North Carolina. There. Up in Boone or Blown Rock area. Anyway, he sends uh, he he the the pork that he makes he sends in uh, freezer tight like or airtight bags so they last for years. The meat stays good for years and years and years. You open it up, cook it, fry it up. I mean, what? It, oh, really? dude, it is so good. Yes, he does sugar cured and salt cured ham. What? Good Where do I God. order? What's his web address again? <laughs> Damn it. You know, I knew uh, I should have probably had that See? shit. I'll find it. I'll put it in the show notes. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't remember. I got to right. get his link. <laughs> I got to get his link. Number nine, apple pie. Nothing's more American except, you know, Thanksgiving and Hulk Hogan. But he probably tastes <laughs> like body oil. <laughs> Brother. 
body oil and steroids. Number eight is pecan pie. Oh, so that needs to be number one. Oh. It mm. might just make your teeth fall out, but that's okay because then you can just eat more mashed potatoes. Yeah, pecan pie hurts my teeth. This is pecan pie mm. should be number one. Absolutely number one. Oh, you won't believe number one. Oh, oh, listen to that teaser. Number seven, butter rolls. Rolls aren't just a delicious side. They're a vessel. They carry gravy. They make amazing impromptu sliders. And they're nice. And and if they're nice and stale, they're perfect projectiles. Suck it, Crescent Rolls. (laughs) Perfect projectiles. That's okay. I I know in in my house we have thrown a fucking hard roll at you. Or two. (laughs) You you ever just been sitting there and kind of roll to the side of the face? Yeah. I I have like I literally have. It's, it's, it's <laughs> so, terrible existence. So are you guys fresh roll or King's Hawaiian roll people? Oh, King's Hawaiian so good. I love King's Hawaiian rolls, but on Thanksgiving I always make fresh rolls. King's Hawaiian rolls, like everybody loves them and they're good. I'm not a bread guy though. I it doesn't matter to me, dude. If if if, if it's there, I'll I'll I'll, I'll eat it, but. I'd rather a fresh roll. I really well, would. Well, King's Hawaiian has a special recipe that they've uh, patented. It's called pure happiness. And they <laughs> sprinkle that over every one of those things because, my God, those things are good. They are sweet, though. Oh. I I can tell why people love them so much. I'm just not a bread guy, dude. I'm yeah. I'm a meat and potatoes type of dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't really want bread in my food. You know, it's like, I don't know. I guess my dad, to make it, made a stigma. It's like, it's like. It's like bread is a filler. You know what I'm saying? Bread is something that you add to the meal when you don't have enough. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure everybody gets full. Like, Yeah, I guess that's a good point. If yeah. you like meat and potatoes, you should try my tater tot casserole. I'm trying to. Where do, is it in the oven? <laughs> we need I, to make that next time Dad comes over. Okay. I'm going to give you all some notice. Uh, it's good, too, man. Oh, all it's right. Real good. Number six is pumpkin pie. It's the one time a year when you're definitely getting it. So make sure to be a prick and take the biggest piece you can and <laughs> okay. use all the whipped cream. Wow. Okay. Be I sure to like be a prick. pumpkin pie. Your pumpkin pie is good. Not as good as pecan pie. No, no. I hear, hear, hear. I agree with you too, sir, but I still will fuck a pumpkin pie. <laughs> I will. Yes. <laughs> Number five is stuffing. Whether somebody mm. half-assed oh, yeah. it with yeah. stovetop or jammed it in the bird's badonkadonk. <laughs> Stuffing's like soaking bird in turkey juice overnight. And if somebody was smart enough to put sausage and dried cranberries up mm. in there, you m- can make a meal out of it. But you shouldn't miss, but you shouldn't because you'll miss out on the turkey. Yeah, 100% agreed stuffing has to be on this list. And again, yeah. that's another one of those foods you don't really ever see. You know what? Stuffing has to be on the list, but it's one of my least favorite. Like, I really that would have been my my bottom of the list. Like, it's something that just has to be there because it's Thanksgiving. But I, I don't. Again, it's a bread based side. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. I'm just not cool with that. To me, the stuffing would have beat out the crescent rolls, but definitely not beat out any of the pies. Yeah, I'm gonna. List. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat the stuffing before I eat the rolls. Yeah, I don't. Man, there's something about stuffing. I don't understand it. <laughs> but I eat so much. <laughs> it's the truth. Some people love it's just it's bread. so good. The <laughs> texture spot on the, the the whatever ingredients are in the stuff. I don't know. It's good. Yeah, I, I agree with Josh. There's a lot of green onions in there though. I, I like them. <laughs> Number four, mashed potatoes. Yeah. Okay. The greatest okay. plate filler in the world also allows you to become an un- an amateur sculptor during mealtime. <laughs> Look out, it's a gravy volcano. Okay. Or just push it through your teeth like a Play-Doh machine. Your mom loves it when you do that. <laughs> Making all the squeaky noises. Uh, you know, nothing beats a good dinner roll, freshly baked, Dipped into a little mashed potatoes that and gravy and eat. Oh. If I'm going to eat a fresh roll, that's the only way. My mouth is watering right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, number Lord. three, good old turkey. Tur- How is turkey, turkey not number, number one? one? Right? Could turkey be number one if the host didn't drink too much while cooking and forget about it? Probably. <laughs> But between the skin, the dark meat, and the white meat, and the nap you get when you're done, this sucker could be drier than modern day Robert Downey Jr. and still be amazing. <laughs> Damn! Um, wow! <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. They actually have determined that the turkey, the ingredient in turkey, the chemical that everybody tryptophan. thought tryptophan, tryptophan yeah. doesn't. It's not enough in the turkey yeah. to actually affect no, your yeah. your so, body. But we psychologically think that, so <laughs> it's gonna happen. No, you ate too much, and your body is digesting uh, the blood in your body is digesting food. It's it, just, it literally could be placebo affecting you. Number two, gravy. 
fact. Gravy is the sauce of life. <laughs> yeah. It moistens turkeys. It turns potatoes from so- from salty starch blobs to the best side in the world. Mm. It makes an open-faced sandwich the food of the gods. You can dunk your bread in it. You can drink it through a straw. Just make sure there's enough at the table for you to wash in it later. This okay. podcast sponsored by Gravy. By Gravy. <laughs> Number one. All right, what is, what is number what one? Is what, what so let's see what beat guess. pecan pie. What beat fucking green bean casserole? Turkey. What beat turkey, turkey and, and ham and yams and cranberries mm-hmm. for Thanksgiving? What are you gonna pick? Beat the tur fucking or tur ducking. Tur- <laughs> what, what else? What's you know what? What football. is left though? Oh, oh. Well, they can eat football. These oh. are foods. F- a football cheese ball. That's my guess. A cheese ball shaped like a football. All right, that's what you're going with. What, I else, what other I, don't, I can't think of anything left for Thanksgiving. I mean, maybe it's a trick. Maybe it's a drink. Ooh. Wine. Eggnog is Christmas. Oh, what do you drink at Thanksgiving? Wine. wine? I thought, yeah, Dinner red. wine? Yeah, that could be. It, it's a red it's a red with turkey, right? Uh yes, or, it or, is. No, it's white. Look at no, look at no. It's white? Ask Google. <gasps> oh, oh, good call. Hey Google, what kind of wine should I drink with turkey? Here's a summary from the website winefolly.com. Wine for a perfectly baked turkey. Spanish Garnacha, Cru Beaujolais or Beaujolais Villages, Carignan, Pinot Noir, Bracchetto Dacqui. Okay, American get your little I, I heard. More. Okay, you can stop. To Google. read more, look for the link in no, the no Hey, Google, that. stop. She don't listen to me. Okay. Uh, did you, she say Spanish snatch in there? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm going to have to run that back. I missed the Spanish snatch. <laughs> I love me some Spanish snatch now. Hey. That's look, your number if, one. That's, a, that's you, Dabs K is number one for this If you want to know what Dabs K like, it's some Spanish snatch. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Number one is bourbon. You have to oh, deal yeah. with Slicker. your idiot yeah, relatives. Yeah, yeah, you have to pretend yeah. like you like roasted squash. You have to talk mm-hmm. politics with your uncle who shows up once a year. You had better believe that bourbon is the most important and delicious thing at the table. You know what? I can deal with that. It's completely turned my mind around. This is the smartest yeah, list in the world. Best list ever. <laughs> they did that. They did that. Very Happy good find. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Very good find, baby. Now that we're all hungry. Yeah, okay. no shit. All right, we're gonna oh, take we're, we're gonna take a break in the studio. We're gonna go get some fucking munchies. Uh, and all then right. Andrew's gonna wrap up the show next segment with a diary. I'm gonna do a wrap. Yes, what? you are. Bars. Spit bars. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. Sponsorship with Living Pod Curiously or The Twisted Ten is not just about contracts or money. We like to form relationships with those who invest in our shows. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. We only like representing companies or products that we can really get behind. We met Kyle and Bianca from Oak and Iron Photography at an event from another sponsor of ours and immediately bonded with them because, let's face it, they're just awesome people. Yeah, and if you came out to our Living Podcariously listener event, you may have seen them roaming around, taking some photos for us. They captured so much joy and emotion in those photos that night. It was amazing. Yes, it was. Now, Adam, like I'm kind of a amateur photographer, so I can appreciate how difficult it really is to capture moments like that. They shoot events of any kind weddings lifestyle photos like maternity couples families you name it not only do they capture moments that your grandmama will like but they also put that oak and iron personal style and spin on what would normally be considered traditional photos oh yeah that ring of fire shot from our event was awesome Hell yeah their photos not only capture the raw emotions but when looking at them later you're transported back to that day they were taken you'll see it on their website they capture quote the real moments for the true at heart nice Head on over to oakandironphoto.com to check out some of their work. Also, you can click the Contact Us button and get a quote of your own. Go and check out oakandironphoto.com and let Kyle and Bianca know you heard about them from us. Peering into the inner thoughts and expressions of men. Women send in questions to show at livingpodcariously.com for Adam, Tack, and Jay to give brutal, honest admissions. We call this The Guyery. Guyery? Really? Hey, Tack, is that the best name we could come up with? Uh, yeah, just just go with it. Aw, I think it's adorable. Can we man up the music a little bit or something? <laughs> I got you, buddy. <laughs> Right, 
Number one. Number one. So is it really true that men think women are prettiest in sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup? Or do they really think they are more beautiful when they are all dressed up? Oh, it has two. That's kind of, reread the first part of the question, please. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup. Keep going. Well, because the question sounded like, is it more beautiful or do guys find girls beautiful when they say that they're beautiful when they're in that? Do they think they're prettiest when they're... Oh, prettiest. Okay. All right. There's the key. I think it's fair to say that there are two different types of beauty. And what I mean by that is there is a certain beauty in just being comfortable and relaxing with another person. And then there's also appreciating the effort that goes into you wanting to dress up uh, to go out with me. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, like, I can appreciate the effort, but at the same time, I can also appreciate being comfortable and sitting on the couch and just spending time together. And So, no ball gowns on the couch? I mean, <laughs> if, if that, that's how you get down. I mean, ball, your, did you say no chill? ball gags on the couch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's not rule anything out here. <laughs> but, is that prettiest when I have a ball gag on? <laughs> I don't know. Go, go put it, it on. It is pretty hot. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> but but there's a lot to be said about um beauty and before and after makeup shots you know what i'm saying there are some women who are extremely attractive uh, with just a little bit of eyeliner and there are some women who are absolutely hideous until they put on their face you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. so there's 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 a lot to be said about um sweatpants and no makeup you know what i'm saying if if you're truly beautiful, then you're truly beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some girls have true. it. Some girls don't. Yeah. Some girls that does need mm -hmm. a lot of that makeup. Mm -hmm. I know, right? No. I just, that's it's, obviously it's, not you, Miss Joy. Okay. No, I do. Okay. I have red eyelashes. <laughs> I, I know. That's hot, though. Red. Look, I've never it's been a rare. red one. I've never seen a red one, man. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, you should come over to more shows. Tax sits in that exact seat, and Andrea never wears panties. So when she wears dresses, what? she. I, I don't mean, have it any just hair to prove happens. down there. I guess she just, I don't have any hair to prove that. <laughs> She's uh, When the carpets match the drapes, we have tile floors, buddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. And moving right along. <laughs> yes. Number two, what do guys really do at bachelor parties? Damn it, guys. This is one of those things where we have to tell the truth because it's the guyery. However, do we tell the girls yeah, what I mean, we really do? How about we, I'll, I'll talk secret. about my bachelor party. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. We uh, so It was me and five, five other dudes, and we rented a cabin uh, up in, like, northwest Georgia. Mm -hmm. and uh, Sat in a circle. No. <laughs> grab, just, grab the guy's dick to your right. It was, like, it was a really cool cabin. We were out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Apparently, we were, like, just off of hunting grounds. We found mm -hmm. that out at mm -hmm. one point. It was... Uh, we just went to Walmart, spent a ton of money on junk food, and then went back to the house and got fucked up for four days. <laughs> Where that's what's up. That's, that's awesome. A nice, that's a nice little innocent one. Like I've I've done I've been to two bachelor parties and it's just a night at the strip club. I mean, like if you're okay with your old man going to the strip club, then a bachelor party is not that big a deal. Yeah. No. The, you know? So I saw yeah. what happens at those. Well, that's places. why I went to a cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot safer for you. So, yeah. Well, I no, actually, like my wife, she doesn't care. She that's the part. Like we go together, we go to strip clubs together. See, yeah, so when awesome. it came to bachelor party time, we were like, what? Let's do what something we, new. But yeah, let's yeah. just go on an adventure. Mm. He man, woman haters club. Yeah. <laughs> so we, I had originally wanted to take Josh and his whole group of guys. Mm -hmm. uh, on a cruise, do a bachelor party cruise. That, yeah, I've done that too. That's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. that seems like a lot of fun. It's just, it and that's gets one's expensive. a little more, in, but that one's a, another one of those ones like the cabin in the woods. It's a little more innocent. You know what I'm saying? There's not necessarily going to be a bunch of strippers or a bunch of yeah. naked bitches. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of your friends hanging out. Like we smoke, look, I smoke weed on the front of the boat. You know, I, is that something you're not supposed to do? Like, cause I've got, should Ooh, I stop, international water. Should That's I a good stop question. bringing pot on boats? No, I, you get a balcony room. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I probably would pay that you, balcony money, but you know, you do have to be careful with open flames on a ship in general. Yeah. I, I know like they a, say don't flick it over the side, but I'll eat it or something. I'll figure out a way to get rid of that roach. There's a little cup and flush you that put shit water down like the super jet turbo toilet. Okay. Yeah, you just get it wet first. Then give it you to you always got to get it wet first. Josh, Josh, you're being prejudiced, though. Every time I've been with an open flame on a cruise ship, they were always the most fun to hang out with. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Are these questions, <laughs> are, are these girls uh, not putting their names on these? Because uh-huh. you haven't said, okay, I was just curious. Not everyone wants to be known, I guess. <laughs> By the way, send your emails to show at livingpodcuriously.com. Put a little subject line in there about for Andrea Joy or for the diary or something that we can see it. And uh, and uh, we'll ask it and answer your questions. Or on Facebook. Yeah, send or, us a message. Exactly, yes. Number three. My boyfriend thinks there is no harm in sexting and flirting with other women because he doesn't meet them in person. Uh-oh. What are your thoughts about his game? He's wrong. He's, He's probably fucking, fucking someone bag. else. <laughs> Mr. He's a Frito. Fucking is what he is. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Uh, let's put it this way. Every couple has their tolerances. So every mm-hmm. couple allows the other in the couple to or the other in the relationship their bar- their their boundaries and their barriers. That's if true. this girl, if you as the writer of this email have a problem with it and have explained that to this man, then yes, it's wrong. However, some people are open. So some people can do that and be perfectly fine with it, but obviously she's not. So the answer is he's in the wrong. Here. Yep. Yeah. It's a sign, sweetheart. Move on. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> yes. Tax single. Okay. That's true. Tech is single, yeah. That's right. Gainfully employed. He's, Tech's pretty, he's a pretty single, cool dude to hang out with. He's always talking to a new chick. Every time I come over yeah. here, it's like, oh, Tech's talking to her with this guy. Save some of the ladies for me, Tech. Listen, Tech's got some fucking game. Even okay. though he plays it down, okay. Tech knows what he's doing. He works for the space. He works for space. Y'all space people. Y'all, y'all <laughs> dudes. He's making babies. Tech's pulling all the good women. I want some <laughs> sensible women in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You want to touch my pussy again? Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. That's a perfect sound drop right there. That is perfect. No, everyone was quiet. There was no laughing. It was just Andrea. That's awesome. I'm talking about this little kitten. Uh huh. Yes. She's pointing between her legs uh, for the listeners. I like to rub it. I, mean, I guess if you're going to throw it, it out there. Look, it's clawing back at it. It's me. Look at you it. You never uh, want a pussy to claw back at you. No, That's no, something no. wrong. <laughs> Where are we at? <laughs> Number four. Is Number it? four. Yep. Do you notice perfume on a girl? Can certain scents turn you on? Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, abs- absolutely. I mean, there's there's an entire science built around pheromones, mm-hmm. which are are literally in our DNA. So yes, yeah, certain scents to certain types of people are absolutely an aphrodisiac or a sexual arousant. Yes, so absolutely. And yes, I, I like perfumes, good perfumes on you. And it all deals with the girl's chemistry and the guys as well. If a guy wears certain types of colognes that works with his pH levels, it, it is a real science. That's really something that, mm-hmm. that works. I feel like shampoo is my thing. <laughs> That's good. You know what though? There's, there's something to be said about the clean, the clean smell of like soap. Mm-hmm. Some of the perfumes and colognes have a soapy smell to them too. And that's really something. There's there's science behind that too. I feel like because I'm so large, like whenever I've had a girlfriend, I've always came down and kissed the top of the head, you know. So I've constantly been that makes smelling sense. the hair. Oh yeah. And if you're and if the hair doesn't smell right or smell smell good, it's a it's a real turn off for me. Like I I like your hair has to smell good. Like dude, it's that's like, deep. It's weird. Never I think about it's that. really weird. <laughs> like you know, I don't really bring it up everywhere I go. <laughs> but yeah, like your hair has to smell good for me, or else. It's uh, all, it's all these girls that like Dabs K are listening to this. Be like, They're all washing <laughs> what's my their hair. hair? What's, my, <laughs> what's my hair smell like? <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's actually it's it, it that ends up being pretty useful at some points because like Margaret knows my smell, so like there's some date nights where it starts out where I know I'm getting late. Yeah, <laughs> like I just yeah. I just know yes. it's like yeah. it's gonna be good. Yeah. It's going to be a good night. Oh, awesome. All right. Our last one. If a girl is giving you a blowjob, do you ever get really scared she'll accidentally bite off your dick? Oh, no. Not until now. I mean, <laughs> what the Again, fuck? I'm like, I'm <laughs> grown now. That's I, stuff we worry about when you're a teenager, right? right? I want to yeah. reverse this one. Have you ever considered? Ooh, reverse guy. <gasps> I'm going to reverse it. Have you ever considered biting a dude's dick? No. Like the are, okay so okay so okay this is the real thing, like when my twenties my mid twenties right I w- when driving down a road I would feel compelled to throw my cell phone out the window I never did it but it was always this compulsion you know it's like like man I just throw this fucking phone right out the window now see what would happen 
I never did it, but it's always, it was always a thought. So you never, you know what I'm saying? Had it, you know, in the, and it's like, what happens if I just, argh, just, just, yeah, I just snatch it right on. That would hurt so you, bad. See, you need to make more like you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a couple more, just a couple more like you. Clone some I know there's some mean, and there's some mean ass chicks out there that they just want to bite it off and chew on it with their molars. Like, argh, argh, argh. But I wouldn't want someone to bite me and chew it off. So has that ever, cause that ever happened to you? No. I I, I knew a girl. I'm not going to say her name, but Rebecca told me the story <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> about the first time she ever had a guy like go downtown on her. You know what I'm saying? And she, her, her exact words to me was like, he really thought you had to eat it. <laughs> and I was like, wait, wait, what do you mean? He bit it? Like, arr, arr, arr. He was, she was like, yes. It was terrible. I was like, oh, you, you, you poor, you poor, poor thing. Hey, let, me, let me show you how to do it. Yeah, let me show you how it's supposed to be done. You can yeah. also use the back of your tongue sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, no, I'd never thought that before. But, yeah, that is a little scary. I, a little, no little bit no scary dick biters. Up. No dick biters. I have had people that have used their teeth on the device itself, and that's not ever really pleasurable. The device. The device. I don't know. I, it is felt shit, weird are you a it cyborg? Dick. Are you, <laughs> is your dick so electronic? <laughs> <laughs> this is a new skin. It's a, wait, what does Arnold say in the movie? I'm a cybernetic uh, with uh, – never mind. You know what I was going for. <laughs> Ask Google. The yeah, one with the no, hair. I'm not the asking her shit. She's not that smart. What was it? What is, what Data was trying to build some real skin too. What did he? Yeah, say? yeah. Data, Data, Data's clo or uh, Data's brother. Oh, what's Data's brother from Star Trek: Next Generation? Oh. Okay. Hey, I'll ask Google that. <laughs> okay, you got Google. mad at me last time. What is the name of Data's brother from Star Trek: Next Generation? My apologies. Oh, I don't bitch. understand. We're done. We're done with Google. She doesn't know. She's, she, she's a great alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and hey, Google, <laughs> add That's poopy me. buttholes to my shopping list. God damn it. <laughs> she didn't hear it. Oh, oh, damn it, man. You got to do it again. Hey, no, Google. stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. I can't see the lights. Hey, Google, add poopy buttholes to my shopping list. Okay, I've added poopy buttholes to your shopping list. <laughs> Don't. Uh, you, know what? you guys want to know what the best part is? Like, Margaret generally does the grocery shopping. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's just asleep now. <laughs> okay, Google, where do I find poopy buttholes? Sorry, I don't understand. Of course you don't. Oh, she's so bad at this thing. <laughs> All right, is that the last question from the guyery? Okay, Google, is that the last question for the diary? That's not what I meant. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, she's that. not. She doesn't understand that. Was that all of them, though, Andrea? That's the best diary ever. Good ever. job. That was fun. Best ever. diary ever. Yeah, definitely. And now she's playing with the pussy. <laughs> oh, my little pussy. <laughs> so furry. So, is that how you talk to it? Like you get down there and you're like, pussy. oh, you're so cute. Look at, let me just <laughs> kiss <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 Have you ever seen the Robin Williams skit about is this what we look like to you ladies? No, what is I it is right. intense. Hey, I'm gonna play just a piece of this and then we'll wrap up the show. Hey, Hang actually, on. while you pull that up, we got two more shout outs. Oh, sweet. We got one two more, more. We got one more from Stephanie because she's being cute tonight. All right. And she said Stephanie. also to my best friend Dan, her husband. He is so cool. Oh What up, Dan? Yeah, but Dan is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, we also uh, we got one from Tall Trey Comedy. Trey Sterling, friend of the show. Can you give a shout out to Oliver? I feel he does not get enough credit. <laughs> Ali! Oh, what to do, Ali? What's up, <laughs> Ali? <laughs> he slept through all of it. Oh, he woke up for the barks. <laughs> <laughs> don't bite. He's like, don't fuck with me. What are you don't, doing? I'm sleeping bite. over here. Okay. So yeah, everybody who uh, who wrote in tonight, thanks. Yeah, nice. thanks, guys. You guys so, rock, yeah, man. We'll talk to you guys next week. We're going to start incorporating more live shit, like... Uh, Live videos from inside the studio while mm -hmm. we're recording on Don't Facebook record Live or, or whatever. Uh, yeah, some things won't be recorded, um, namely funny sounds that are coming from Dab K's uh, vape device. It's really weird sounding. It's strange. It <laughs> wow. reminds me of Taco Bob. <laughs> Dude, oh, somebody yeah. else said that to me the other day. <laughs> Crush my spirits. A taco <laughs> sounds delicious. <laughs> you ever had the mini tacos out of 7-Eleven? I haven't heard Taco Bob's name in 
Ever. Okay, I didn't even know he still did radio, but apparently, old man radio. For everybody okay. else for watching Robin Williams. Yeah, I'll cut this Everybody part else is listening. Oh, so yeah. This, I don't even get this part. This is... They put your whole nose in it. That's how you know you're doing it right, man. (laughs) (laughs) Drunker than a motherfucker. Fell asleep facing the monkey. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, Dabs. How can uh, how can our listeners find you? Oh, it would be at the the www.burnitdownshow.com, or you can look us up on the Facebooks at Burn It Down. Or um, you can find us on um, Podcast Attic. We're on motherfucking iTunes. Podcast Radio Network now. Podcast Radio Network. Where, uh, anywhere nice. you can find a podcast except for Spotify, which is going to be soon. Debs, you can find us. I got a real quick note about your Podcast Attic. Okay. A podcast search, Attic. Search for your show and two shows come up. Mm-hmm. One's Burn It Down. One's Burn It Down Podcast. <gasps> Just so you know. I think oh, both of those are us, though. No. Is it both? Are it's both two of different them? logos, though? No, let me see. What? Someone's trying to steal your name. Okay, okay. Or maybe we stole somebody else's. Uh, the logo that I know that works is burn that. Burn it all down. Yeah, burn it all down. Actually, it was around longer than me. Oh shit, my bad. I'm the worst. I interrupted that for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's another show called Burn It All Down. Burn It All Down. Yeah. Huh. Burn It All Down. That's yeah. totally we different. We didn't we didn't know that all right away until we started putting it in the search and was like, oh well fuck. And there's also um another one that comes up. What's your girl from The Biggest Loser? What's her name? Um Jillian Michaels oh, yeah. has, has like burn it up or something like that. I was like, oh fuck, boo. Hers but, comes yeah. up too. Yeah, burn it up was actually first, and then burn it all down. And I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" But well, burn whatever. it down is the one you want. Mm-hmm. That's the burn one. We're the good one. Around. Burn it down podcast. Yeah, Hell yeah. And then I get a little bit cool. See, so stop me. You know I want to say. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, by the way, uh, we put a, a commercial at the beginning of the show. You're going to hear a little bit more about us talking about Brent Allen Salon and Day Spa giveaways that we're going to be doing. Uh, they're coming on board as a new sponsor, and they we are not taking the money for this one. This is all going to the listeners. Mm-hmm. We've got. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars of gift cards and special packages from Brent Allen that we're going to be giving away. Mm-hmm. So pay attention to the Facebook pages. That's both. That's where you want to be. Yeah, both the Twisted Ten and Living Podcariously. It'll be the same yep. links, though. So yep. if you see it on one, see it on the other. Mm-hmm. But uh, check those out. Make sure you pay attention. We're going to start giving those away here uh, over Thanksgiving. So if yeah. you're hearing this, go check the page and enter to win. Yeah. And All start right. getting your hilarious... Christmas stories together. Yeah, all right. I like it. I like it. I, I like it a lot. I think I'm going to ask everybody for their hilarious Christmas stories. Cool. Christmas hilarities. We're going to tell some of them on the show, get some laughs. Well, that's my I birthday. Like so Give away be, some stories. Your birthday be, is on Christmas? It'll be funny Dab's, Dab's birthday stories. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday is exactly... Merry birthday. Happy New Year's. <laughs> is exactly six months to the day from Christmas. See, that's the awesomest birthday ever. I get presents I, oh, man, all the time. My whole fucking life, I was like, why can't my birthday be fucking six months? It'd be a perfect split. <laughs> man, I hate you right now, man. You were, <laughs> you were so much cooler five seconds ago. You got my birth. You got my favorite day to have a birth. Oh, all right. Uh, check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash Living Pod. Curiously. Oh, um, we got one of those too. The Burn It Down's got a p- Patreon up there now as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck, listeners? They already got more, more Patreon. Patrons, patron, patrons, patrons. I believe we do. Come on, we have ten. Throw us a dollar. Throw us a phone. They got ten. We only got four. Actually, on ours, Tack is going to be releasing episode number two here real soon Mm -hmm, of mm -hmm, Living mm -hmm. Pod Curiously Gentlemen's Club. That's Mm -hmm. an LPGC. That's a a, an elite group that gets special bonus episodes of Living Pod Curiously. We're going through the old dabs. I don't know if you know, but we actually have. So this is episode eighty six, I believe. Mm -hmm. We actually have over thirty episodes before. This iteration of 80 episodes. Yeah, I remember. And they're so yeah. bad, I won't even listen to them. Yeah, dude, it's, it's bad. <laughs> I <laughs> lost. There's some things that my ears do not need to hear. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, ex-wife was yeah, part of it at yeah, the time. However, yeah, uh, it's yeah. not just because of her. Dude, We, I, I literally lost friends because of the stories we told. Oh, wow. It was yes. out of control. Yeah. That's how you do it right there. But there's I a, there's a details. <laughs> there's a cool story arc. Uh, that it all leads up to... 
what the, began the, the this implosion. iteration. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. But anyway, uh, if you donate five dollars or more a month, mm. you get those extra content. You get to on see how site. Andrea destroyed the first iteration of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I took it over and made it mine. <laughs> Wait, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, spoilers, man! Spoilers. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There's no I'm no trying question. Trying to sell the sizzle. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, all right, guys. So uh, I guess I said, Andrea, where they, where can our listeners find you? Brent Allen Salon and Baseball. And Saturday, November 25th is our big shopping extravaganza. We'll have lots of vendors, food trucks, a bounce house, 25% off all of our products. And we'll have the SPC out there with their animals for adoption. That's Aww. awesome. And we're going to be setting up tent and tables and recorders. We're going to be recording from the event. So, so we'll come support there. your local business for... What's it called? It? Local Business Saturday. Is that what it's called? Local I, Business I, Saturday. You're asking. I have no idea. Is that what it's called? Okay, Google. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, you, you guys need fire Small performers, business right? Saturday. Yeah. You, yeah. You need need fire performers. <laughs> it's during the day. Is there a room? It's still know. hot. It's still dangerous and exciting. <laughs> it's still hot. <laughs> oh, so you got a thing for fire blowers? Is that what I'm hearing? No, I'm a fire performer. Josh runs a oh, company for yeah. Infinite, yeah, infinite Points. Infinite Points I know performing. what you did tell me. I know yeah. this already. Hold on. Yeah, man. I spin fire. Can you teach me how to spit fire? Hmm. Can you spit fire with a beard? No, 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 no. Not spit fire. Spin. Like, spin. Oh, spin. oh. I spin flaming props. Oh, I knew you was a spinner. I thought you was all ecstasy related, but I wasn't going to talk about your past. You got a good, you got a good job now. You know. Wow. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He was way cooler five seconds ago, right? Is that what you just saying? He was. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. All right, guys. Thank you very much for listening. On behalf of Living Pod Curiously, I'm Adam. I'm Andrea Joy. I'm Mr. Wilson. And to our very, very special guest and awesome host of the Twisted Ten yeah, this week, Dabs K. Mr. Dabs K from the Burn It Down Show.com. Go check him out. Listen to a little bit of Burn It Down. And we're going to close this show like you guys close yours, but I'm going to let you do the whole thing. So, Dabs, how do you guys close out Burn It Down? Fuck this shit. Burn, burn it, it down. down. Nice. Hey, do any of you guys want to pet my pussy now? Give me the puzzle. Hey, remember when we had that listener event? Yeah, our first ever listener event from Living Pod Curiously. Yeah, 777, yeah. July 7. Giant success. In fact, we just gave Keith with the Children's Hunger Project his his uh, his money from that event that we raised. Indeed we did. Hey, what was that um, beer that was donated for the event? Uh, that was from Bug Nutty Brewery. That was oh, called yeah. The Nutty Idiot. It was a medium-bodied lager. I don't remember the ingredients that they had in it, but man, it was it was good. We served 300 pours, all 300 possible pours that we could have out of their donation. We served... <laughs> very very quickly that night yeah it had like an asian flavor to it or something it was like i don't know what it was it was interesting it was cool though i loved it i think a little bit of a sesame flavor yes i'm gonna have to get that ingredient list from him but yeah that was that was really really good um our boy ray burrito also does comedy up there every third thursday at bug nutty at bug nutty brewery here on Merritt island he does the uh the third thursday comedy night up there oh wow that's cool It's it's a really cool list it's every time i've been up there it's amazing comics nice andrea did you try the beer that night Oh, yes. It was wonderful. (laughs) She's not a beer drinker, can you tell? (laughs) Don't say it like that. I wasn't standing at the game all night. I have plenty of time to drink beer. Yeah, John and the guys over at Bug Nutty certainly hooked us up. So we want to send all of our listeners, if you're looking for a good microbrew, especially in Brevard County, uh, there's a lot of them out there, uh, and Bug Nutty is by far one of the best. They are located at 715 North Courtney Parkway, Merritt Island. Give them a call at 321-452-4460 or email them at manager at bugnutty.com. I got to sit there and hang out with somebody that I kind (laughs) of idolized in the Orlando community Mm -hmm. for a long time. I'd never met him personally. So that was kind of cool. See, you're making friendships happen at the Burn It Down studio. We network, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. You know, and and Ross is a great local comedian. You know what I'm saying? 
I think he um he might have parted ways with the uh, with the old TND. Yeah, man. I, so I've been listening to Tommy Dan a lot. Mm. I don't listen to every episode, mm. but I haven't heard him on a lot. I don't. I don't yeah, know what's I don't, up. I'm not. I'm not too sure. He's uh, still affiliated with the guys, you know what I'm saying? But we still, he's still a, a, a really good friend of ours. Yeah, he's he's, awesome, he's a friend of the show. So, you know, Ross isn't going to disappear. He's not going to, you know, he's, he's still going to be, we're doing another living room series. Uh, with the comics, you know what I'm saying? He, he should be there, I'm pretty sure. I listen to all yeah. of the living room series. Those are, you guys my, do. Those are my Dude, favorites. My fucking favorite living room series of all time. I had to have replayed that episode at least 20 times mm-hmm. just over the course of like a month mm-hmm. was when you guys had in, um, Melodic Descent? Was it, no, it wasn't Melodic Descent. Melodic Descent is, is Travis Band. Yeah, Melodic yeah, Descent. Yeah, Melodic yeah, yeah. Descent. Yeah, that was a really fun episode. That Dude, was really that was good. awesome. Yeah. That music is yeah. so good. I wanted to get them out here to do an episode of us uh, to do like a mini session well, as well. T- that so. can totally happen. Yeah, I can, I, I can, I can uh, try to help set that up if Sweet. you need. Sweet. Yeah, I talked a little bit to, um, I think a little bit to Travis. I don't remember who it was I was talking to through their Melodic Descent mm-hmm. Facebook page, but mm-hmm. I said, "Hey, dude, heard you guys on Burn It Down. It was awesome." By the way, go as our, for our listeners, go check that episode out. Yeah, totally it is a go check it out. It is a full what fifty minutes of nothing but you guys talking a little bit. And there wasn't a lot of talk, but it was mm-hmm. mostly a living room series where they're playing in your living room and we're, you got, yeah, you, got you guys mic'd up yep. and them mic'd up too. It just sounded awesome. It and, was and really good quality just, too. They, you know, they're they're playing to a small crowd of people, about eight or nine people. You know what I'm saying? And we're just sitting around there, you know, Bernie J is listening to fucking reggae. Yep, it was a fucking awesome time. Like it was like a. It was it was good. Like I, the living room series are some of my favorites because you know the show's so easy. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yes. Do your thing, guy. I'm gonna yep. sit here and play my game on my phone and listen to some <laughs> fucking dope ass music. Wait for this J to come around. <laughs> yeah, those guys are perfect. That's my kind of music too. I'm a huge fan of well, originally Sublime. Yeah, and the, then that the, spawned the white boy everything reggae. else. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yes. Well, cool, man. Yeah. Uh, so you're hanging out with us this episode. So you obviously just did the Twisted 10. Yeah. Uh, great go time. check that out. Dude, that list was great. You did uh, top 10 weed. myths about weed. Yeah. So yeah, that one's going to be a hit for sure. Um, so all right, we're going to do a few things. All right. Thing number one. Wait. wait, wait. Adam, put your Love pants it. back on. So, <laughs> he's looking at the time of the recording. All right. So Mr. Wilson. Mr. Yo, you recently took a trip somewhere. My hero. Yeah, yeah. And this is. The- hey, guys. What's going on? It's your boy Dabs from the Burn It Down Show. And you are listening to Living Podcariously. Oh, yeah. You're listening to Living Podcariously, bringing you real men's perspectives, unfiltered, unapologetic, and uncensored. Recorded live in the Living Pod Kerosene Studio in world famous Cocoa Beach, Florida. To another episode of Living Podcariously. Living Podcariously. Hey. hey, for you, Tack, hoot, hoot. Uh, Tack is not here tonight. He has kid stuff. Uh, Tack doesn't like me. Yeah, family stuff. I don't. I don't know what's He's up. Tack. a transgender. Yeah. Transgender. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a a phrase that Dabs K coined. We'll introduce Dabs here in just a second. But Dabs K coined a phrase during the recording of the Twisted Ten that he just hosted. Uh, for the reason Tack isn't here and somehow got us to the term transgender. Mm-hmm. So, uh, which is the fucking greatest <laughs> one line phrase I've ever heard. Uh, we're rolling you, with you, it. I wonder you. if that's a thing. It is. I think I heard it on like South Park or something. You know what? Let's, let's, tr- well, let's ask introduce Google. people first. We'll, we'll ask Google here in just a second, but let's, let's do the intros first. I'm Adam. I'm one of your regular hosts. Sit, Tack is in here. So we're going to go to the other now new second mic of the show. Over on the Hi. Lady Chase. Yay. Now, I'm the only ginger, and you guys can call me a ginger all you want. Ooh, all right. Yay. This is Andrea Joy. Andrea Joy, sitting over in the big recliner. What up, guys? Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson rocking it in the house. And back by popular demand, brought us a hell of a twisted 10, co-host of the Burn It Down podcast.com. <laughs> Mr. Dabs K. Hey guys, it's good. What the gun? What the gun? Yes. I love that. I fucking love it. <laughs> what up, dude? Oh. Hey guys. Fucking good to have you in studio, man. Man, it's good to be here. You know, I love pod life. Pod life. Pod, pod, you say pod life? Pod. We talking pod. about the uh, Twisted Ten you just did? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we're going to ask Google, uh, we have a fifth mic set up in studio for Josh's or Mr. Wilson's uh, Google Home attendant or whatever. What's it called? It's, just, it's a Google Home mini. Google Home mini device. 
So <laughs> Andrea Joy is in charge of the plug bell tonight, by the way. So we're going to ask that a question. What were we going to ask it? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm pretty high. I forgot. Transgender. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. All right. So here we go. Okay, Google, define transgender. My apologies. I don't understand. Man, this girl don't know nothing. She Man, she just failed man. every search tonight. <laughs> right? Every single one. That's why I thought she wasn't hooked up to the, the Wi-Fi there for a while, but nah, she got it. All right, so we got a fun show in store for you guys tonight. We're going to uh, get deep into Mr. Dabs K. Uh, I don't like the way that sounds. Uh, hold on. Don't worry, uh, it's worse than it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Is that swing coming back out? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's a reference to an episode we did a long time ago. We don't have a game time this week because uh, that's tax uh, segment. So, uh, Way to attack. ruin the show, Tack. Just saying. The show's Jeez. never going to be the same. Andrea, uh. Andrea and I got to go see, uh, we plugged a little bit on the shows in the past, but Monty Python's Spamalot over at Surfside Playhouse out in Cocoa Beach. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because, my God, that was fucking hilarious. That's so we'll cool. hear about that. Mr. Wilson also did a Colorado trip. So we're yeah. going to hear a little recap on, on oh, some right. Colorado That's travels. That's my kind of trip right there. Yeah, it was cool. Uh-huh. And, of course, Tis the Season – we're approaching Thanksgiving, so we're going to talk a little bit about Thanksgiving in this show. Yay, turkey so, time. First things first, we want to get deep into some dabs. K. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Somebody Spread said, it open. Somebody messaged me and said that sounded sexual. Maybe I should change the name of that segment to, you know, when we have guests and we want to get deep into them. Deep, deep in, yeah, it does. Know. Deep into dabs, K. <laughs> All Ooh, right. So, what is my K? I so, Dab, you are a host of the Burnt Down Show. Yes, sir. You yes, can sir. be it can be found on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Podcast Radio Network, it's and like iHeart Radio. Yeah, 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 and yeah. iHeart. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk a little bit about Burn It Down. Uh, burn It Down. You know, it's, it's in the title. We we burn it down. <laughs> we. we also like to sit around and talk shit, make jokes, you know what I'm saying? I, it was born of, of a love to, to just sit around and, and, and be funny, you know what I'm saying? So we decided to start recording it. You know, like most podcasts, you think you're fucking, you know, superstar material, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Right. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's, it's, it's podcasting. I do find it's, it's an, it's an awesome outlet. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it it's just a way to get everything out there you know what i'm saying and in the world of social media with all the walls and, and and all the you know pictures everybody takes it's just it's just it's just a version that i love you know what i'm saying so it's my wall you know go 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 to burnitdownshow.com and look at my wall you know and that's a really cool analogy for a podcast i've mm. never heard that before yeah that's a hell of a cool way to put it we <laughs> like it we we like it a lot sweet so we, we had it with josh and i were talking about this earlier today you and j flow or jason mm. uh f- founded it basically basically created uh, burn it down from scratch, right? Was yeah, it two of you uh, then started it? We, we, yeah, he was moving into his uh, new place where he's, you know, down the street from this studio. As yeah, only like yeah. two miles from us. Yeah, you guys are close. Yeah, and he was like, he was like, hey, man, you want to do this with me? And I was like, fuck yeah, man, let's, let's do it. So we, we, we actually started a Facebook group <laughs> with, no, we had nothing. We just started a Facebook group and said, hey, guys, we're going to do a podcast called Burn It Down. And it was more for us, you know what I'm saying, to see whether or not people would be interested in anything we had to say, you know. And before we had anything, I think we had maybe 150, 200 people Damn, nice. that, that just joined oh, yeah. the group, you know what I'm saying? So we were like, well, fuck, we have a group of 200 people in it now. That's we, a fucking we, secure audience yeah, right there. We have to do something, though, you know, because we didn't have anything. So I guess we, we, we started, well, well, this is what we're doing, the progress we're making, you know, it's a little update. So, you know, it kind of forced our hand. We we started buying all the equipment we could afford, like, as quickly as possible. And then one day we just had everything, and boom, we started recording. And we bought all this equipment. We spent all this time buying all this equipment. And our very, very, very first episode, <laughs> whole episode recorded through the pinhole on the fucking monitor. <laughs> it's the worst audio on the planet. It's the, it's the worst audio. Like, we couldn't figure out what we do. We did three or four bonus episodes, or not bonus, but, like, practice episodes where they sounded amazing. We were, like, so excited. Like, yeah, we got this. We're finally, this is going to be the first real episode we're going to going to call this episode number one and it sounded like fucking shit (laughs) oh that sucks oh my god it sounded so bad but we have grown it's been almost two years now a year and a half almost two years though you know and and it's it's really fun it's uh, you know so come check us out man just we're we're everywhere we're everywhere you can look for a podcast anything you can listen to a podcast on you can find us eventually spotify as well but that's like the only one that's up in the air right now 
Yeah, Spotify is a difficult one to get into. Yeah, it's a bear. Yeah. Without like without trying to pay somebody some money, you know what I'm yep. saying? It's really hard. But we think we found a way. Uh, we nice. think we found a way. So, you know, fingers crossed. We'll see you in the next couple of days. Hell yeah. Uh, no, dude, we love Burn It Down. Uh, so we did your guys' burger challenge a while mm-hmm. back. I was a judge for one of those. Yeah, for one of those good. Actually, you had a good time too, didn't hell you? It was yeah, a good dude. burger, wasn't it? Yeah, those pictures yeah. were dope. Yeah. yeah. So I was there with uh, the day Ross McCoy also came in mm-hmm. to do the mm-hmm. original, the first series of guest judging before the finals. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. I'm a big, huge fan of Ross. So I got to sit yeah, there. Yeah, Ross with, is a good dude too. Yeah, man. Yeah. This trip, I'm sure, is going to get Dabs K's attention, at least the location anyway. So give us a little recap of your little mini vacation you just took. So I got a hookup uh, from through Frontier for seventy dollar round trip air ta- airfare to get from Orlando out to Colorado Springs. Shout out to Frontier. Nice. They right. they were actually a quick side note. Um, Frontier, pretty good uh, people. They were doing hundred dollar tickets to Puerto Rico to help with the relief and everything like that. Oh, nice. So, oh, that's yeah, dope. I fucks with Frontier, man. So go ahead. But yeah, so uh, got crazy cheap round trip tickets. Uh, so I went with uh, Steph and Dan. Our patrons, Patreon. Patreon patrons, Steph and Dan, friends of the show. Yep, friends of the show. Uh, and Ricky, also friend of the show. Oh, uh, yeah. The team teamwork guy. Me and Ricky have just been playing some Fortnite duo stuff together. Okay, yeah, y'all make saying. me want to get on some Fortnite, guys. Dude, it's, it's good. So good. Yeah, and it's, it's free. Good. Like, you have no <laughs> reason at, not to. Look at your face right now. Andrea hates games. <laughs> look at your face. You're such a girl right now. Those stupid games. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. So the four of us went out there. We got a um, Airbnb. Uh, we were like 10 minutes away from downtown. Sweet. Um, and we were like a 30 minute drive from two of the craziest hiking locations ever. Okay. One of them was called Garden of the Gods, and it and it was a hike. <laughs> <laughs> She's on that bell. She's taking tax roll tonight. Right? Uh, so it's uh, we you park on this ridge and you hiked down into this valley mm-hmm. and there was just all these crazy rocks everywhere and it was desert and it was just like really cool to climb and walk around and everything it was super pretty because Florida is super fucking flat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, across the street from that, there was another one that was called Red Rocks Open Space, <laughs> and that was the opposite direction. You were climbing up like the foothills of the mountains. So your like your view was just c- consistently getting like just broader and broader of this giant valley that everybody was hiking in because it was gorgeous. That's so, awesome. Did uh, so? Let me ask you this: breathing in Colorado when you're elevated that high while hiking mm, is that really a thing? So I, I, I when I lived in Colombia for a year down in Bogota, that's at 8,500 feet. So I know the difference between you know being able to breathe in heavy oxygenated air versus being way up in altitude. Uh yeah, that part sucked. <laughs> was, yeah, with all that yeah. hiking though, yeah, yeah but you hiking were at out. six thousand feet no. is no joke. Yeah, for somebody who lives at sea level. Well, of course, hiking for me in Florida is going to take the trash out. So, oh, th- I'm three hundred pounds. Hiking for me is going to the kitchen. I'm. 